I'm delighted to show you how to make the best chicken taquitos. And of course you can use rotisserie chicken, but in order to get the best flavor, I suggest you use a freshly homemade cooked chicken. I'm going to pressure cook a whole chicken with 11 cups of water. One onion, three green onions, one leek, three bay leaves, half a garlic bowl, a pasote, and if you don't have a pasote, that's okay. You can use parsley or cilantro. And half a tablespoon of salt. Put a lid on it, pressure cook for 45 minutes, and allow for a slow pressure release. And boom, done, our chicken is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take the breast out so that my sister can start shredding this chicken. <laughs> I'm happy to be so. It smells so good in here. I don't know if you guys are new here. Cloud is the best chicken shredder. And if you guys are wondering what we're gonna make with this, we're gonna make enchiladas mixtas again. And I'll go ahead and link a recipe in the description because my whole family is obsessed with those enchiladas. You enjoying me doing I'm, this? I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> doing somewhere. I was thinking of that um, the new chili oil that you made to dip that piece of chicken Ooh, in there. Oh, how dare you talk to me like that? <laughs> Grossera. And like most people, I dislike most of the brands of corn flour tortillas at the grocery store, but that shouldn't prevent you from getting the crunchiest and crispy taquitos in your house. What you have to do is you have to take your tortillas, and when you take them out of your bag, you're gonna notice that they're a little bit humid, they're a little bit wet. They hold a lot of moisture and what you want to do is you're going to place them on the burner and you want to warm them up about three to five seconds on each side before you start rolling your taquitos. You can use this to make your piñatas. I'm just kidding. You can. <laughs> you can actually to make your piñatas with paper mache but all we have here is some water and all-purpose flour and you want to make a little paste. That way our taquitos stick and they're perfect every time. And if you don't have access to long tortillas to make flautas Mexican style, you can use a little bit of your glue and paste two tortillas together. Give them about a minute to get nice and sticky and then you can start rolling. And boom, done. <laughs> With a non coated wooden spoon, chopstick, toothpicks, you're gonna place it into your oil. And once you have a vigorous boil, that means that you're ready to fry. But if you have a vigorous boil and you have smoke coming out of your pan, that means you have to cool it. Uh, make sure that it's not smoking before you continue to fry. And all I'm doing here is removing the specks of chicken that came out because once they get really crispy, they'll start popping on you. I'm gonna continue to fry for about a minute and a half on each side. And you want to continue to fry until they're nice and crispy. This little basket that I always use to fry the taquitos, it's from our uh, Instant Pot, <laughs> in case you guys are wondering. We always get questions on that, don't we? We do. It's an Instant Pot basket. All right, I'm going to continue to fry the remaining taquitos. Saute half of an onion and a serrano pepper and a little bit of beef tallow and you're going to continue cooking for about four minutes. And if you need a more detailed recipe on how to perfect your refried beans, I have a beautiful recipe which I'll link in the description area for you. I'm like a parrot right over your shoulder. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you know, the things that Klaus does to give you good angles views club. If that's not love. I don't know what is. <laughs> kind of love. <laughs> what are you cringing because I said that? Mm, a little bit. <laughs> but I love it. I do. I love how loving you are. Thank you. I love to love. It's so corny. <laughs> I'm loving too, but in a very weird way. I don't know. I'm not as expressive with my love. Yeah, I'm super emotional and I will... Let everybody know how much I love them. Yeah, you do. I like that. The beans have been cooking for a little while and they're nice and uh, dry how I need them. Still want them a little bit creamier so they're not super dry. But And you know, once you get your beans nice and dry, you're going to go ahead and add 
some more of your oil, lard, or your beef tallow. All you have to do is make sure that that beef tallow is nice and hot when you're going to add it to your beans, and that makes for the best refried beans in the whole world. Can you leave all that oil out? You can leave it out. Of course you can. But these are refried beans, and when you have taquitos, it just tastes best with refried beans. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to keep mixing until everything is well combined. And your heat at this point should be medium, medium low. You don't want to be on high because then you're going to be known as a person that burns the beans and that's not what we want for you. We want you to have a good reputation. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Beautiful, silky, smooth, refried beans. For your Mexican rice, all you want to do is place your burner on a medium heat, add two tablespoons of oil, two cups of rice, and you're going to continue until everything's nice and golden. One teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. You're gonna add an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, three and a half cups of water, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. Give that a loving mix and you're gonna continue to cook on a medium low heat as suggested on your rice package. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this for about 18 minutes. I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna let it set there for a good five to eight minutes before I serve. And now we're going to make an agua mineral preparada, which is a prepared mineral water. You can add your favorite hot sauce, a little chili powder, some tajin, some lemon or lime juice, and some mineral water. Have faith. I wasn't going to pour it over. <laughs> right at the end, you're going to add a little bit of salt. A little mix, and we're ready to eat some tacos. Yummy. Add some iceberg lettuce, sour cream, some tomato, your avocado, some lime, and last but not least, your chicken taquitos. And your choice of salsa. So I'm going to be using salsa verde and our regular salsa roja. I'm going to need somebody very special to say, uh, as always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you and let us know in the comments what kind of salsa do you like to have with your chicken taquitos. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Uy, que rico. Quiero comer todo. You know, I have an OCD friend that watches and I know if they see that, it's going to drive you nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that for you. <laughs> looking good, looking good. Thank you. <laughs> You know these taste so good, Chris. We could put them on. Yes. I do know. <laughs> I have years of experience. <laughs> Con las delgaditas. Mm -hmm. Estos están genial. You know when something's not genial and somebody's like, está genial. And you're like, okay. Tu primo. Siempre anda con que genial. Todo está genial. Genial. Prefiero eso que anden de mala. Sí. Que me diga genial todo el día. Pero no me echen mentiras. No es por nada, pero estas son mis favoritas. Why? Because you're a taquito bottomless pit. Yes. <laughs> See, if you have four of these, that's like having eight taquitos at once. They're buffet taquitos. <laughs>